What is the difference between a winning trader and a losing trader? If you answered the click of a mouse, you are correct. The markets are just one big gigantic video game. Change my mind down in the comments below. But without further ado, let's get into what we did today in the markets with the video game and Algobox, the cheat that we have installed. Stay tuned. Alrighty then, if you've not done so already, make sure you follow us over there on Facebook and Twitter, and of course here on YouTube. Smash that like button, I'll wait. There you do it, smash it, smash it like you mean it. There you go. All right, now, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure that you do, and hit that notification icon so that you get notified when we go live and put out new videos. And of course, if you're not on here already, make sure you join us in that Discord channel chat, which is where all of this stuff that you're gonna see here tonight is going on so today is april 13th 2020 this is the discord chat room and we're going to show you guys how to get involved again you can come and hang out with us in the audio room which is going to be our uh during the live markets you can come right in here the algo trade floor on the left again this is free and open to the public right now so hop on in here and come listen to us in the morning the afternoon session take your pick we're in there and we are having a good time trading the algo box um, so if you've not traded with algo box before i'm not going to get into a lot of details of that tonight go watch uh, videos lessons one through six if you're interested on where you could get involved with that there are a list of the videos up here in the top section and here where it says get started click right here and that will take you where you need to be let's go to the beginning of the morning here i think first person in this morning jc posting a uh, beautiful trade here what do we got we've got a okay so he's taking a prz cross right here if you know what that is make sure that um well if you don't know what that is maybe ask some questions down below or go take a peek on the left in the menus pretty easy trade here now i can say he's pretty far off on the entry here um i'd have to ask jc what he's doing here as far as this one maybe he was waiting for a secondary confirmation he's got shorts favorable on i don't see what his mac v is here so i can't see this in a screenshot but this is a nice screenshot for him to show us he's got targets one two and three this one probably needs to be moved into that prz right there so a little critique right there but first trade of the morning looks like that came from JC and there he goes into his targets he's hit oh he moved his stops down okay as he went and oof so he just missed I can almost tell see where that target should have been so one little critique right there right that that target third target should have been right here into that PRZ but great trade um looks like so on one contract that's down at 166 so rounder there probably around a 400 dollars trade there to start off the morning great trade there my friend all right let's see who we got here jc yes was on the second candle took it anyway because the favorable direction second cross okay so actually it was interesting Corey actually asked him hey why'd you take that one so he's got a great explanation here on why he did show he had the mac v was red is and that's that's the answer so i asked earlier like well 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 maybe what was his mac v there he goes great trade first trade of the morning now i came in this morning right around 9 15 before the open we took a peek at the vix 43 on the vix um, if you are looking for how to get the vix in our room just type exclamation mark vix also you can type in exclamation mark news which is what we did here to see what the news events were for the morning not a lot was on the docket here today although i believe we've got a lot of earnings coming out this week uh, in fact while we're right here i'm gonna go ahead and check to see um how many earnings we do have this week exclamation mark earnings and let's see i believe we've got a lot of folks reporting this week so we could get some extra volatility we could tell even today that we did actually that's not a lot no nope, we're not even in the hundreds so scratch that i believe it's maybe next week where the big numbers are coming in uh, but while it was on my mind i want to go ahead and check that 
Okay, um, so first thing I did this morning here, we're checking in on the MACV. It looked like on my side was green. There was some discrepancy there. I saw L's had taken a short there, a uh, little bit tricky. That MACV is green, and what is this? Algo Matrix is green, green, green across the board. So a little bit of a dangerous trade to be taking this uh, short right here. Um, let's see if she explained why she might have taken that one. Um, no, I don't see an explanation on that one. Not sure um, what she was saying on that one. Someone had asked how many days of data to have on that section if you are using the Algobox Ranger. Um, you'll notice that the 10 and the 30 are in a blank right here. That is because on mine right now, I've got this set to seven days. So yes, my five day ATR is there, but not the 10 or the 30. So if you're using your Mac V on the two, uh, two chart method that I'm using right now because of the VIX being so high, make sure you got that set to seven days. All right, uh, of course at Fullmaster definitely kicking off with some beats. Yes, um, let's see, that was target one where is my trade did i not get a screenshot of that first one um okay so this was the finish of that trade looks like i did not get i didn't get a good screenshot of my entry there um but here is why we entered in on this one so this is a large king right we got a you see that pink line right there? So we got a pink dash line with the blue dash line here right next to each other. That is a crossover timing point right there. And what did I get? I got the white cross right on it. So this was my long trade up in this direction that I took there and that was a pretty easy one. 12 ticks for, uh, for that one. 12 and a 15 look like to hit those targets up above. Oh, here we go. Here, here was the after effect on that one. Um, it was not perfect. I wish I would have been able to get in a little bit closer to this trade position, uh, closer to the cross on that. But where the crossover timing lines, you can see those two crossover points right there was um, a spot where we want to get long um, after that algo box um, Flowmaster cross. Okay, now this was uh, this was a neat one. Uh, Corey had put in this day we had. Um, same location that we took, but he he had taken a short right here on a down two finger. Now, we had some discussion around this trade today. If you are doing the two finger, if you have gone and learned the two finger strategy, you should pop quiz yourself right now. What's wrong with this trade? Okay, let's pause for a minute, think about it. Look at the screenshot. What's wrong with this trade? The trade is short. We have a down two finger. But what else do we notice? Quiz yourself. I'll give you the answer. Now, we are coming into the golden ropes. What do we know about the golden ropes? If your, if your two finger salute box and the zone here for this is in the golden ropes, we are reversing the logic of that position and we are actually taking a long. So instead of a down two finger, we're treating it like an up two finger and we are trading up into the box. So a little bit dangerous here. He did end up getting his target, so I'm glad that he did. But in general, again, if you're trading this nine times out of 10, what do we wanna do? We want the stats on our side. We're looking for a long trade on that one, although he did get all three of his targets. So glad to see that target one, target two, and target three. Kudos to you, but again, we talked about that one, and I think we went into in in depth and at length. We talked about this one today to have some discussions around that. Um, was this a continuation of that trade from before? No, this is a different trade. This is we've got multi PRZ and double crosses here, and it looks like we've also got a timing cross taking the long side. Let's see if this one ended up making it. Yes, it did. So targets filled now could have taken this off to taken a few contracts off right here at that timing line. Why that pink is a king timing. Remember for your timings, you should know this. And if you don't go back and study, we've got S M L and K right for our timings, small, medium, large king size. And that is in order left to right. And of course the pink is the king right there. And it's blue. Yes, sir. I watch funny cat shows. Can you watch some funny cat shows? Sure. Can you go see mom and ask if she can get that set up for you? <laughs> go right ahead. All right. Those are your colors. So if you are watching these here tonight and wondering what those are, 
Those are your color points. Okay. So uh, that one hit targets, I believe. Yes, right into that purple line. We had identified this. Again, we identified these in the room. So come and hang out in that algo room if you're wondering where or how we put those in. And that was what I was targeting there for that target. I think I pushed that uh, target out a little bit up into the purple line and targets filled on that one. Um, yes, this is Trady, Trady, uh, Corey saying that he had gotten that one. And we had some discussion around what the targets and stops should have been. Good turning point there. I, you know, obviously, you know, hindsight being 2020, wish I would have had some runners holding onto that position because this was a beautiful pivot low on this and continued to move up and up and up and up, widened out here. Would have been a little nervous around that because that looks like you got a megaphone pattern coming into that, but nice upward move. Not going to cry over spilled milk. We did pretty good today, regardless. Um, yes, Els was recommending. Go check out that two finger YouTube video. If you haven't seen that one, uh, type in Vinnie Mini two finger. Two finger strategy. And oh, that's the old one. Uh, bummer. Okay, so, well, Google's not showing the latest. Yikes, I guess go to the YouTube page. And I uh, pulled that one up here. Let's go to the YouTube page. I need to figure out why that's not getting picked up. Yeah, there's part one and part two. So you're looking for part one and part two of the two finger salute strategy. This is the newest, latest and updated version where we've got the algorithms for that as well, both uh, semi and fully automated. So take a peek at that one there. Um, so there is that down two finger again why we look for that reversal look how far up this went right yes it went down 15 ticks but this went you know a good 30 ticks up on that one so again that's why we do that targeting the back of that box and would have been a big big target there on the reversal on that two finger okay if you guys got any questions on that pop those down in the chat box or the comments down below and we'll try to get you directed to where you can watch the video on that uh, since apparently i couldn't find it here on the fly okay this one fairly simple i'm sure we had mac v red right here mac v was red red dot pretty simple um normally i usually want to have something else with that i know that time i had some extra reasons why i was getting short right there i don't recall what they were at the time but fairly simple we took a little heat maybe i don't know maybe three or four ticks of heat on that and then boom dropped in targets filled down there at the low right there Okay, so now JC pointed out we started to have the power dot blue dot start to show up. So we knew we might have a trap in this area. We also saw it coming in on the Mac V. So multi time frame blue power dot coming in, multi level Fib Elliott setups. So we were watching. Let's see. Um, why did I show this screenshot? Was this a stop out? I think this is one of my losses. Yeah, this was a loss. So I took this, um, I believe this is what I took right here. I think this was showing a stop out. I didn't type it in. I was on the audio room at the time. So I believe that's what happened there. I'd have to go back and check. Let's see, took this two finger in reverse, stopped out. Okay. So we talked about this one as well. Um, and this, this one was a tough one. We had a long lengthy discussion on this one. Uh, I won't go into more detail on this one, but the folks who are in the room here today, we talked about what that trade should have been or one that could have been skipped and lots of reasons why. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Matthias is showing. Dun, 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 dun. Looks like he got short right there and targets filled. Okay. Uh, oh, he used two finger. He took the two finger short. Yes, so he did the proper, I think he did the proper thing and took that one short. I believe is what he was showing right there. Target field, yeah, KCT, two finger, yeah. So he was he took this two finger short. They took it in both directions. So that's a little bit of the confusion why we had a long discussion on that one to make sure that everybody kind of knew what the actual rules were for that two finger in that location. Okay, um, looking for that targeted area right back here. This was a bat wing setup. We got the, the big drop. We got the bat formation, right? We wanna enter in right here. We're looking for the 50% pullback 
um, into that area. However, we also had this for our target, and that's what that trade was right there. And at the end of this, I believe that was a targets filled. And I believe that took me to my five trades of the morning, right about that time, 9.50 a.m. And let's see, JC's pointing out. Okay, so the blue dot from before did get broken, and we pushed down this one, we assume was a little bit stronger. And let's see, I think that was the one I had just taken, actually. Okay, so yeah, walking through my trade setup there, people were asking um, what were the details on me taking that one. So zooming in, we also had, you see this crossover timing here? So what do we have? Crossover timing, we had small plus large, I'm sorry, that's a medium. So green is medium, so medium large crossover, okay? With a blue volume, again, that's like a medium volume entry flow right here. And we got the push up continuation, right? We, we talked about this the other day. What do we do with those golden crosses? We're looking for continuation volume. Did we get continuation volume? Yes, we did. Continue, 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 continue. No white crosses to stop us. Where is our look to the left? Here is a spot where we are looking for that uh, big volume area that we're gonna look to come back to again. Showed it to us right there on the left for that target and it looked like could have held on to it for some runners again on that one as well um, there was a discussion around that second two finger again here was the drawing that we discussed on what to do with a trade like this one down here and we had that chat there earlier today as well there's me posting in the two finger salute strategy video this is the one you guys are looking for if you want to learn that strategy go check that one out um, let's see, a couple things. Okay, so if you guys have not seen this, again, if you are new to our channel, you'll know what these, uh, well, you won't know what these are for, but most people know what we were looking at here. So this was the uh, period 20 stops on both directions and the targets, those are the main things we're looking at for those. And we discussed that around the two finger salute for what those should be. And what else we got? Um, here are some new folks in the room. Life Surfer is a bit new. He was asking some questions on, is this a legit trade? Um, him taking this short on the red dot there. We had some discussion around that. Um, going into the no trade zone. We had a long conversation during that one. I don't say long, it's maybe 10 minutes. It's pretty long for us. Um, we tried to talk Life Surfer into uh, getting off of his, um, He's using a footprint tool there that um, he's not. <laughs> I don't know that he, I don't think he's making any money with that, um, but you know, whatever. We had a long discussion on why our strategies and methodologies are better. And of course, if you find one that you think is better, folks, we're always up to the challenge. Algobox is still undefeated in the contest we have entered, so bring it. All right, uh, beautiful green dot um, there at the bottom. I did not catch that one. We were talking about some templates there this morning. Okay, so my closeout from the morning was 5086 for the morning session. That was a 5.94 profit factor. So real good ratio from the stops to the winners. So the 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 winners to the losers. Um, let's see, didn't take too many shorts. Majority of those were to the long side and 71% profitable. Not too bad for the morning session. Uh, morning session for the morning session. Anyone? 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 Morning session. All right. Oh, hideous chart. Cannot even. Can't even. Can't even. Can't look at it. All right. Um, headshot. One of our favorite trade setups right there. We also had a headshot up top. Um, again, get to know these. These are our favorites around here. Uh, you know, picture, picture a little head, somebody's, somebody's sweet little smiling face, and then of course, crosshair, right on it, boom, headshot. So that is a headshot trade right there. Again, it does not have to be right on. We'll use this, use this as the example. The headshot does not have to be, the crosshair does not have to be directly on the dot, although oftentimes it does, at or near it. Within two or three bars on the algo is where that should be, okay? Uh, do we have one down here? No, there was no dot with it. Okay, headshot short, showing in right there. 
Um, let's see, lesson libraries in order. So this was talking to somebody like once you are in our program, how to learn everything in order to build on each other. That is the lessons um, in order in that section. We talked about the turtle strategy today as well in the room. Uh, let's see, what was I doing here? It looked like we're taking a PRZ cross long and we had the purple line up above us for a target. Yeah, it looks like I closed that out pretty early as we got into purple one. So almost a scalp, not very far. Did not even get 10 ticks on that. I believe that looks like an eight tick trade right there. Mr. Cook, what do we got cooking here for Mr. Cook here? He's got a long trade off of, he's got the big white sections here. He's got some crosses. This is a PRZ cross entry. Uh, Mr. Cook, I recommend you need to, your, your charts are a bit flat here, my friend. Okay, this is hard to read. Okay, unflatten these. To do that, you wanna click over here on, just click on a price, okay? Just click and drag it up. Okay, drag it up, that will widen out your charts. Again, some things about chart navigation. Everything we do here is about visualizing price and playing this video game. We wanna make sure that we've got good visibility on what we're looking for, okay? So a little tip on that one. Uh, Life Surfer, looks like he took, okay, this is a new guy, but he's getting, getting the hang of this thing pretty quick. Um, nice, he does not have stops and targets, so he hasn't quite figured out how to get his ATM working yet, but that's okay, we'll, uh, we'll get him going with that. Batwing, oh, Mr. Cook said that was a Batwing. Got it, I did not see the Batwing there, so be careful on that. I don't believe that was a Batwing, and it looks like he said that it was not. Um, speaking of Batwing, I think I took this one as a Batwing. This is one of my losers. Yes, so, thought we had the, uh, this is a nice two-legged down move. Bam, 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 it looked like we would get some up move, and no, we did not. Breakdown, stopped out on that trade right there on a bat wing. Um, is this that trade? Is this a different one? No, this is a different one. 10.42, what was the time on this one? 10.40, so two minutes later, what did we get here? Well, whatever it was, I definitely closed out of the trade. Was this the second swing at the long up into the PRZ? Yeah, so we had PRZ targets up above. Um, second swing at that one, but closed out the trade as that started to break down. Did not quite get up to the PRZ, so uh, one of my other losers right there on that one. Um, let's see. I must have been talking about something there. Okay, strat shark back. Was that this one? No, somewhere though we were talking about shark backs. Did this one get there? Okay, close this one out after we got to the red dot. So red dot came in, had to close that position, did not get um, into the PRZ, immediately saw the red dot show up, had to close out the position but did turn into be a winner on that one right there. This is Life Surfer, one of our new guys, uh, doing some practice trading there, and can't tell what setup he's got there. Definitely has a white cross, um, but I'm not sure what the rest of that setup is. Okay, and it's a new trade. Uh, looks like the same trade that I had. What was I getting into this one on? Red dot up. To, oh, crossover. Crossover. We have a large king crossover there. Must have had the Mac V had turned green. Trap was in play. And what time of day is that? Right around the 11 o'clock. We were looking for that turning point. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. Oh, a little too zoomed in. Yeah, so right here, you can see, wow, I cannot zoom in on this. Let's me zoom in. Here we go. Okay, crossover timing right here. Do you see, whoops, wow, I can't draw like that, can I? So, that is large king crossover timing right there. 
Um, I'm sure I had some other reason. I believe it was the crosses to the left. I can't remember our conversation around this. There had to have been some other reasons why I was looking for the long already. Crossover timing was the push. I think we also heard a ton of audio coming in. I forget some things that we can't see on the chart here. We've got Flowmaster Audio hearing them just punch in. When they start punching in on the tape, you guys who have been in the room before, you guys know what that sounds like. It sounds like machine gun fire going off. Um, and you can just hear the big orders punching in on the tape. And that was that trade right there. Okay, so let me speed this right along. You guys got to be bored by now. Um, we are doing the extra $4.99 off with the Easter offer, and we're throwing in the plus pack. So that's going to include those SMLK lines and your Flowmaster. So if you guys want to get in, we're extending that to Friday if you are wanting to get in with some of that. And let's see. This is off of the low of day. Low of day, double cross with a PRZ up above. And I believe we had to take this one off early or closed it out. I don't recall which on that one. Uh, let's get to some trades that are a little more clear. Uh, pretty close to a headshot right here. Um, we've got the green dot. The cross is a little bit too far away for a headshot, but we're getting the combo on this, and I'm sure I had some other reasoning for what we were doing at that time. Looks like we're right past the king timing, so it might have been the king timing as well. Exited on the red dot. There was our exit as soon as that came in. Again, we're just playing a video game. If you have uh, not used our system, you know, just install it. You'll get the hang of it and understand. We're just playing in and out on our trade setups. Um, scrolling through it's 11 o'clock. Should I just go to the afternoon session? Uh, no, we had a huge trade. We had uh, so time of day you should go watch our video lesson number two don't know no no i think it's like four i think it's like four where i'm talking about sessions this is the beast mode time where we find some of our big, biggest reversals of the day coming in there between 11 and one o'clock we caught this as the j hook um for the trap so we saw the trap there was the low of day that we were working before with those double crosses right here we had the dump off and two more double crosses right in this area. We saw the trap was set. We looked for it. Didn't get the greatest entry here. I would have rather pulled in and waited for the crown, got into the crown on the J hook. Again, the ultimate entry for a J hook is down here. Uh, but when this started to move directly up, you started to hear the tape. You could almost just, you could hear it. It's hard to explain when you're using Algobox audio um, or the, I say Algobox audio, the, Algobox Flowmaster Audio, the audio box as we call it around here, audio box was going off like crazy. So entered into that position and again, looking for just target one for my first set and would have added to position. We play the J hook in a certain way. If we're getting to target one quickly and easily, then we know the target two is more valid. That did happen on this trade, went almost directly to target one. Um, where is it right here? Yes. So this thing went almost immediately to target one. So we know then, therefore, that targets two and three on the J hook are going to be more viable. And sure enough, shortly thereafter, this thing ended up going all the way up to target two, which I did take off there. I added to position as the white cross came in. This was a plover add right there. So added to position and we looked for that target two to hit, came right in, target two was filled for me. And I closed out the position. Now. I could have held this longer because I'm going to show you guys here in a minute. This thing continued to just absolutely continue to crush it. <laughs> Texas Tommy said that I was insane. Um, that's possible. Um, I had obviously my profit factor deteriorated with some of those losses. Um, so I was at a 1.65, 54% on that. Again, not the greatest, um, but not, not terrible um, at that point. So... We carry on. Um, target three is the gold line up here, right? Gold River line. And we did end up getting all the way up there. Ken did a good job on his first day back. He hit 1066. Not too bad. Ken, well done. And yeah, that was a that was a really big, big play. Plovers. Okay, let's get into the afternoon session. Um Okay, we walked through that trade pretty extensively. We talked about the, the traders who were trapped. 
down here in this area. Again, big, big orders, order flow coming in to this area. Everybody underneath these, we talked about how they were trapped inside and how we got into that position up and over that area for the J-hook. Lots of good training that we talked about there today. And that's just some more of that uh, drawing that we talked about for the traps traders and talking about how you identify the trap prior to the J hook entry, which is important for making a J hook, which is again, one of the biggest trades that we've got um, for riding a, a longer position. Okay, that uh, there's that blue dot at the bottom for the target up to the red. We talked about how well, even if you didn't know all those things, didn't know how to identify the trap, didn't know how, to, how our system basically will just do the work for you. If you were to have just entered in at VL1 down here on the blue dot, ride it up until you exit on a red dot. Um, during that time of day where you've got the trap zone uh, for beast mode, that basically the system can kind of do that for you even if you're not uh, if you don't have all the years experience and understand where that trap was that we talked about earlier today. Um, gold levels in the tides, need more verse size. Okay, okay, trading top step account, blah, 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 blah. Okay, <laughs> I ranted on iceberg orders um, today. Again, intent of the tape video. Um, all of that ended in October 2009. If you still think that you're looking for iceberg orders, um, uninstall, stop trading. You have no idea what you're doing. Seriously, do yourself a favor. Don't trade if you're looking for iceberg orders. That's BS, doesn't work anymore. Go back and look at this video. Um, October 2009, the way that the data from the CME came in for trade data to your, to your PC all changed back then and that does not apply anymore. Okay, showed a bunch of our cool gifts. If you guys haven't seen these, these are um, pretty self-explanatory, great setups we were talking about there in the room. Um, we're coming up on 30 minutes. Let's wrap this up here. Flowmaster training part one. If you guys missed this, this is one of our latest trainings uh, for the Flowmaster. Go check that one out. And let's get to our afternoon session. I know we had some people trading pretty much the entire day. Let's see, okay. I did take this one um, right after my lunch break there. I took this short. This one was like one of those ones that just screams at you, okay? If I get this trifecta where I get, you know, a red PRZ, a red dot, oops, a red dot, and you're gonna give me the cross too, and I get this trifecta, I'm gonna take that trade, okay? It was just staring at me took that one again i didn't get big on this one this one just kind of towed in the water um wasn't really paying attention to it and but i'm gonna swing at one of those uh target down into the prz again doesn't get much clearer than that i'm gonna target that prz trade goes directly into that one pretty much no heat i think i might have had one tick of heat two ticks of heat all the way down into that PRZ targets filled. Now this one ended up continuing to go down. I don't know if I got a screenshot of this afterwards, but that trade, yeah, here's CG. I think he rode that even farther. He went down even farther down to the second PRZ. Put me at 8,600 at that point of the day. Um, talked about trading the video game. Oh yeah, here it was end to end. Neat little giffies, targets filled. Enter in on that HMD short plus the cross flow. Easy breezy. Uh, so he took this, uh, JC said, took this shark PRZ cross on the fives. Not too common to see. That is true. It is rare to see one of those coming in on the fives. And he took this bad boy long. Very nice trade on that one. Moved his stop up. And yeah, big trade there on the fives. Well done. Um, CG pull now 2210. Excellent work, sir. Oh, I think he created us a Giphy. What did he get here? Okay, got the order flow bubble, which is equivalent to an order flow cross. Uh, GIF moved a little quick there at the end, but it looked like, I can't sure, I wasn't sure what he's showing at the very end there. But great little move up there. And yeah, I don't know. I think he was showing the three reasons why he got in. Beautiful stuff, sir. Um, let's see how he did. Oh, he was batting 100. He was in, he was at 100% on the day. 
So profit factor really doesn't help when you're at 100%, but congrats, average trade, 5.4 minutes. Excellent work there, CG. Entry, headshot long, pretty straightforward. Right there, right, got the green headshot, green dot, crosshair, boom, boom, pow. We had, I know it's the shorts favorable right here, but the MACV was definitely green. We're looking for the continuation. This looked like a nice push down, nice bear trap for the people who are trying to get short right there. Got wrecked and targets filled up into PRC. Great stuff on that one. One of our favorite types of trades on the boom headshot. Okay, are you guys bored yet? I don't know if these videos are too long or not. Tell me down in the comments down below, like when we get to this part of the video, are y'all like, okay, I've seen enough of these trades. I'm bored, I'm done. Or you guys like continuing to go into all these. You know, I don't do market recaps every day or anything, but we had a lot of trades today. So it's been a while, um, but just thought we'd hit them. And, uh, but if it's getting a little bit too, if this is dragging on, um, I get it, but I kind of want some feedback. I don't know, you know, some people are saying I need to keep them at 10 minutes or so. And I just, I don't know, there's just so much that we do. It's kind of feels like it's hard for me to do that. So anyhow, we try. Um, pretty easy trade right there. Who took this one? That is that JC. All right, beauty. He caught this one. That's a great, great entry for that. So he's got a Cypher PRZ with the cross flow targets one, two, and three. And let's see if we took a screenshot at the end of that one. Oh, here's our new guy. He's catching on the headshot. Very good. Yep, that's a headshot right there. <laughs> this is the picture that I was trying to show. Like, yeah, there's there's what we think of as the headshot right there. Um, Humphrey. What do you do? He got this one. Flowmaster. He's missing for headshot. Flowmaster plus missing headshot. Uh, oh, oh, he did not have Flowmaster turned on. That's what his problem was there. Um, what we get here? Shark back. Okay, so this uh, this is actually called a shark tail. So shark back is right here for the entry. Shark tail is when after the shark, something jumps in on the tail and pushes it straight back through that shark. Okay, that was a shark tail trade. Some people said it didn't have that one. It's a different setting. You need to have your stuff set to 18s to be able to see that for those dots. Okay, talked about uh, loading up which template he needed. Yatta yatta. So that shark tail was a beast of a trade right there. Continued, continued, continued. There's a plover right there. I believe I entered in on this plover short. This is a plover. Okay, so people who ask about the plover, that is a plover. You get a nice straight leg down. Let me actually use the nice straight arrow thing. Okay, boom. Then you get your cross. Oops. I was about to type the T, but it was like, eh, it's not gonna work. Okay, got your cross, but right underneath it, you have a juicy, juicy PRZ right there that you want to fire down into, and it needs to be close by. Okay, the mistake that I see is a lot of people trying to shoot these where like, PRZ is like way down here, and they get a cross way up here. Mm -mm, that is not a plover, folks. It's sort of like a, I think of uh, Mortal Kombat video game where it's like, we'll oh, finish him. Okay, it's the final blow. All right, and this is just too too far out down here. This is about perfect. Okay, this is a perfect plover right there. Boom. Okay, within 10 or 12 ticks. If it's beyond that, maybe 15. Maybe, depending on how big the leg prior to it was, maybe 15, but if it's beyond 15 ticks, it's out of range. Okay, just think, yep, out of range. Yep, there it was. So that one finished off. Again, that one happened so fast, I really couldn't, didn't have time to take a screenshot of the entry on that, but came in with a double cross. I remember calling that, oh, got a second one, and added to position. Here's Curtis's. Curtis did take the screenshot. He did not get a great entry on that. He should have been entered way closer to those, but kudos to him. He locked in his profits. So, you know, moving your stop down, not going to, not going to knock him too hard on that one, but continuation into that one. Um, looks like he's trying to target way, way down there. 
but uh, I gotta say, this is my critique. This is way, <laughs> way, 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 way too far for a plover, right? And I don't think he was taking this as a plover. I'm not. I'm sure he was showing something else when he was talking about this. But um, just a little critique because that's my job. Um, that guy is continuing to break. Oh, I think he's showing higher time frames that he had some other reasoning. Oh, he had king timing there as well. King timing for the drop to see if it was going to get all the way there. Um, not real sure. Okay, this is a beehive. At a beehive after double king timing, you should see two things. You see double and double. Okay, we got... Uh, Double, double large, double kings, and a beehive is the one that followed. So I'm looking for that reversal. What was my target? Purple line right there that we talked about from before. Okay. Curtis knocking down 30, 65. Congrats, sir. And that trade, oof, could have gotten even more on that position there. I think I chickened out and took all my targets there around the purple line. But that trade continued to move up there on the king. And if I had caught some runners on that, I am now going to critique myself. I should have held out till that red dot showed up right there. Okay, so people talking about different settings. We got all that squared today in the room. Where we at? Ugh, I'm running long, folks. Did not expect this to be that long. I forgot how many trades were taking a lots and lots of action today. Um, red dot came in, pushed that all the way down into that PRZ. Red dot could have taken an entry as well. Shorts favorable. Why not? What was I doing here? Um, uh, like, uh, I don't know what I was targeting there. Oh, crossover timings. So we had a king medium. So medium king right there. Crossover timings. I also, I remember this now. There was audio. I got a ton of audio coming in on the mic from the Flowmaster audio. It just told me that was a great position. There's Benny also taking that trade. Awesome trade there, sir. All the way up there. Um, let's see. Looks like I took a break of that trade and got short right here. Must have been the Flowmaster Audio and exited on the green dot. Now watch this green dot. I believe this green dot crushed it. This green dot just pushed up and up and up right back to the purple lines and then some. Uh, higher time frames had the blue dot, power dot as well. Blue dot came in on the Mac V. Lots of action on that one right there. All right, headshot coming in on the purple line. Good place to get long. Talked about that one as well um okay diamond dot we don't get too many of these but oh what a favorite so uh diamond dot came in right here diamond formation dot is in pow pow beauty and that one's a double dot all right we're at like 45 minutes now, here now so oh this was i think the most powerful headshot of the day good job benny catching this one so he's got his chart slid over again i'm going to do a little critique here uh bennett make sure yeah get your charts i don't know maybe you have a reason why you've got it like this but you know move this over here ish <laughs> adjust your charts this just looks really weird to me um to see this but uh that is a blue headshot power headshot right there and i believe that one worked out quite nicely yeah nice move up there off the beginning Curtis at this point is up 4477 absolutely crushing it we've got double blue dots coming in man just so such an awesome day here today a um, lot of easy big big moves um, awesome stuff so <laughs> we're only at 244 so many things there's that power headshot moved all the way through both purple lines on that one Curtis is up 50, 55 at this point. Just holy shnike, he's just absolutely crushing it. Another headshot, just shot after shot, we're getting opportunities to take on these. Um, <laughs> what was this one, which way we were headed? Yeah, that's a good one, another headshot. Oh, another, is this mine? Oh, this is all of us taking the headshot there. Very nice, very nice. Okay, um, 
Are you guys bored to death now? We're at 43 minutes. How many more do we have? Oh my word, that's only the 258. Anyhow, lots of trade action there in the room. Humphrey's taking them. All right, we got some new folks taking them. JC's crushing it. Just absolutely amazing, amazing day. Bonus day for us around here. What was this one? Oh, that looks pretty. Lots of action right here. What did I do on this one? Mm, I remember us having the Oh, Plover. So, okay, again, if you want another great example of a perfect Plover, okay, you get a Plover, nice straight leg. Look at that nice, beautiful straight blue leg. Up and up and up, boom. Look at that PRZ, right? Within striking distance, about 10 or 12 ticks away. Boom, crush it, right? And we actually got multiples on that beauty. Um, now, what's interesting is it looks like I got in ahead of time on that. I believe I heard audio. So again, listen in to the um, the audio flow master. It is you'll you'll start to hear. It. I can't describe it to you. I'll do another video on it so we can kind of give some examples of that. But just come hang out in the audio room. You'll get the hang of it. Everybody who has listened to it absolutely loves it. But using those extra senses for the big trades. Speaking of big trades, this one right there. That's a big one. All right, folks, I don't know about you, but shoot, if y'all ain't tired of hearing me talk, I can feel myself getting tired of talking. So that's it. Um, if you guys want to come hang out with us tomorrow, we will be right in over here. Just head into our Discord channel. It's free. Come hang out. Click right here on Algo Trade Floor, and that will get you in the door. And make sure you got uh, get yourself a headset or just turn on your speakers, and um, we'll hear you there in the morning. All right, folks, if you guys got any questions, pop those down in the comments. Head on over to Discord to get those questions answered. Some of those places over here on the left are really good. Hit over here to uh, get started. Where is that? Here we go. Click start here. Here is a list of the lessons to kind of get you rolling. And, of course, if you join in this week, we are extending the Easter stuff through Friday. So come, uh, come pick it up. Come hang out with us. All right, folks, thanks for hanging out. For me, Pippi, Robbie, Lunchbot, Mod Squad, Curtis G, and the rest of the gang, I'm sending out that big H-Town. See ya.